Welcome to the Virtual Institute of Accounting and Finance. Today we are going to start our studying with ACCA Paper F1 Business Organizations and Their Stakeholders. Before starting and continuing with this lesson, I'm asking you that please go to the summary file, which is a separate video in order to have the map and the track from your journey through paper F1. In chapter 1 we are going to study about business organizations and their stakeholders. Organizations develop out of the need of coordinate work, but this can be achieved in different ways. In this chapter, we will also look at the different types of organization, the objectives, policies, procedures, and management leadership style of an organization will all be influenced in part by its stakeholders. Different stakeholders group have different degrees of power and interest and management must respond to each in a different way. The topics in first chapters are 1. Purpose of business organizations 2. Types of business organization 3. Stakeholder goals and objectives We are starting with the first one Purpose of Business Organization Lesson 1 Purpose of Business Organizations Part 1 What all organizations have in common? An organization is a social arrangement which per pursues collective goals which controls its own performance and which has a boundary separating it from its environment. Here are some examples of organizations. A multinational car manufacturer like Ford, Toyota, and many more. An accountancy firm like ENY, PWC, KPMG, and etc. A charity like Oxfam, Save the Children, and many more. A local authority like any government office, a trade union, and an army in any country. The common characteristics of organizations are as follows. Organizations are preoccupied with performance and meeting or improving their standards. Organizations contain formal documented system and procedures which enable them to control what they do. Different people do different things or specialize in one activity. They pursue a variety of objectives and goals. Most organizations obtain input like materials and process them into outputs like products and services that the customers are ready to buy it and pay for it. Chapter 1 Part 2 why do organizations exist? Organizations overcome people's individual limitations, whether physical or intellectual. Organizations enable people to specialize in what they do the best. Organizations save time because people can work together or do two aspects of different tasks at the same time. Organizations can accumulate and share knowledge and organizations enable synergy by building together two individuals their combined output will exceed their output if they 
continued working separately. In brief, organizations enable people to be more productive. An organization can achieve results which individuals cannot achieve by themselves. Lesson 1 Part 3 How Organizations Differ The common elements of organizations were described in Part 1. But organizations also differ in many ways. Here are some popular and possible differences. Ownership some organizations are owned by private owners or shareholders. These are private sector organizations. Public sector organizations are owned by government. Control. Some organizations are controlled by owners themselves, but many are controlled by other people working on their behalf. Some are indirectly controlled by government-sponsored regulator. Activity What organizations actually do can vary enormously. They could be manufacturing organizations, for example, or they could be a healthcare service, profit or non-profit orientation. Some businesses exist to make a profit Others, for example, the army are not profit-oriented. Legal status. Organizations may be limited companies or partnership. Size. The business may be a small family business or a multinational corporation. Source of finance. Businesses can raise finance by borrowing from banks or government funding or issuing shares. Technology Businesses have varying degrees of technology use. For example, computer firms will have high use technology, but a corner shop will have very low use. Lesson 1 Part 4 What Organization Does Organizations do many different types of work. Here are some popular and examples. Agriculture. Agricultures are producing and processing food. Manufacturing. Manufacturing organizations acquire raw materials and by the application of labor and technology turning them into product. Extractive raw materials. Extractive organizations are extracting and refining raw materials like mining companies. Energy. Organizations involving in energy are converting one resources like coal into another like electricity retailing or distribution this type of organizations are delivering goods to the end consumer intellectual production Intellectual production organizations are producing intellectual property like software, publishing, films, music, and etc. Service industries Service industries, companies, and organizations including retailing, distribution, transport, banking, Various business services like accountancy and advertising, public service like education, medicine, and etc. This was today's lesson. The next lesson, which is lesson 2, will be types of business organization, which we will provide you in a separate video. Thank you for today. Thank you very much.